Live Lean Nation, are you one of the many people that fall into the trap of eating diet food that marketers claim is being healthy? I'm setting the record straight on the five worst frozen diet foods, so stay tuned. Welcome to Live Lean TV. I am your host, Brad Dr. the number one expert teaching you how to live lean 365 days a year. So I have to be honest with you. After filming close to 500 episodes for Live Lean TV, I was running short on ideas for today's episode. So to get inspired like I kind of always do, I went to the grocery store. Yeah, the grocery store because it's filled with a lot of deceiving marketing tactics, which then inspires me to get the ideas to set the record straight on the truth about diet foods. So today, as I was walking down the frozen food aisle, I kept seeing all of the typical food labels that are claiming low fat, all natural, low calorie. I mean, you guys get the point. So I picked out the five worst frozen diet foods that I could find. Okay, number one, frozen pre-packaged meat, poultry, and fish. Well, you might be thinking, it's meat, so it must be a good source of protein, right? Well, it would be if it was just meat. Even though it may say free from antibiotics, hormones, it's not free from all the unhealthy, fattening ingredients and chemicals that are added to the meat, especially when it's breaded. So stick to the real thing. Stick to real meat and then add your own spices. All right, number two, frozen sweet potato fries. Now we've all heard sweet potatoes are good for you, right? Yes, yeah, sweet potatoes are, but not the soybean oil and the other additives. So buy real sweet potatoes and make your own fries. They also taste way better. All right, number three, frozen dinners. Now, I've done a whole video on frozen dinners, so I'm just gonna keep this one short. Just because it says low calorie doesn't mean it's good for you, especially when it's low calorie because the serving size is so small. So in, essentially, you won't even be filled after you eat it, especially when they claim that it's low fat because fat will keep you feeling full. So look at the ingredients label. See what's actually in there. What are you actually eating? That may change your mind next time you try to pick up one of those frozen dinners. So just take leftovers from last night's dinner as your lunch at the office. It's that simple. Cook it in bulk. All right, frozen pizza. Pizza. So here's an example of tricky marketing. 50% lower fat. Does that make it healthy? 50% lower in fat is versus a pepperoni, sausage, and bacon pizza. Obviously. Make your own pizza or stick to pizza as a cheat meal. All right, frozen shrimp. Now, I've fallen for this one many times, and to be honest, it's not all that bad. Shrimp, it's a great high protein, low carb source. So this typically makes people on a diet consume a lot of it when they see a shrimp tray out at, like, at a party. But what most people don't know is many of the brands of frozen shrimp are loaded with sodium. So if you can find a low sodium versions, go to town baby, shrimp, it's awesome. But just look at the nutrition label next time to see how much sodium is in it. All right, Lively Nation, the point of this video is just open your eyes. That prepackaged, processed food, no matter what the label on the front of the box says, it's not your best option when it comes to eating healthy. I want you sticking to whole foods that are fresh and they don't even need a box. Yes. That means you'll have to cook, but it'll also mean that you're taking control back of the foods and the ingredients that you're putting in your body. Cooking is a lifelong lifestyle habit that when it comes to living lean, it is crucial, it is so important, it will change your life. It's an absolute game changer. So commit to it. And if you're new to cooking or you just need inspiration on with new recipes, I want you to check out teamlivelean.com. It's our inner circle member site. In fact, we just uploaded a new protein collar flour rice recipe that was delicious and we also currently have over 70 other cooking videos exclusively on teamlivelean.com. In addition to these recipes you'll also get a new four week workout program every month just for being a member. So there's a ton of value there guys we hope to see you in our inner circle. If you enjoyed this episode make sure you click that like button right down there and click subscribe as we upload new episodes every Monday, Wednesday and Thursday. I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank you for your support and thank you for believing in me and following our Live Lean Transformation 100,000 mission. Keep living lean, guys. Snacking. When done correctly, it can keep your blood sugars balanced, keep you satiated until your next meal, keeping you energized and keeping